Okay, so I'm gonna try and run through this pretty quickly here. So, for the cryophorus, you need a hot side and a cold side, and the, um, the low pressure system inside the, the closed loop system here, being low pressure, the hot side can boil what the liquid is in, or boil the liquid in the closed loop system, and on this side, it condenses in here. And then the pump here, pumps it back to the cold side where it'd be higher pressure and it's gonna be lower pressure here. How we uh, how we heat the hot tank, I believe, Kenny, or Ken, you're gonna be doing the um, uh, the burner. So you just have a, a chimney burner and another the coil that goes through the chimney and the flame goes past the coil. The That just has a coil in the hot tank and the natural convection in the line. You can put a pump in there, I think, too, but the natural convection of that should easily just bring the heat into the water. <clears throat> but yeah really simple you just get a copper coil sunk in a hot tank that you heat somehow that and then a copper coil in a cold tank um and you said you had a stream you can use um that's why i was asking you about the stream temperature <coughs> um because it will be best that you refresh your cold tank your cold side condenser side with cold water from the river and let the natural head of it fill up your cold tank and then that just drains back into your stream because having that do all your mass flow and your um thermal uh remove your energy heat removal will be amazing and it'll help your efficiency a lot especially because you won't have to pump anything to do that too whereas i have my fountain doing the a fountain um showering the water into the air to release the heat off into the air um, but what you're going to want to do is just build a hot tank with a copper coil in it. That copper coil will go into the, um, turbine from the turbine. Then it'll go from the exhaust of the turbine. That'll go into the cold tank from there. It'll go back up and to the, the little water pump, the water pump will put, pump it back into the hot tank. Um, I don't know what size diameter pipe you need. It might, I might even tell you to do copper cut pipe here and then packs through all of here and then copper pipe here and pecs through all of there just because the copper pipe is really expensive right now i think because of what's going on and just supply and demand um but yeah the copper pipe will give you a better heat exchange rate with the water so that you don't have to use as much but it'll be more difficult if you want to only do pecs in the whole system you can do it but you just do a, a lot longer coil of pex pipe in the cold water um as it's a little more insulating than copper um <coughs> pretty simple um the key thing is to have your cold your condenser maintain your vacuum you're saying you were having a little bit of trouble with it and it sounds like you might not have been removing the thermal energy out or you might have pulled too deep of a vacuum that ambient temperatures weren't um uh hot or weren't cold enough to actually condense what was in your condenser um because if you go too deep it won't condense in your condenser but if you don't go deep enough it won't boil in the hot side now i don't know how much energy that water pump pumping back to the hot side is going to need i believe the jeremiah with his test he was telling me he was getting about five psi in his tank absolute and then that was really 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 low pressure in here because the uh, pressure builds up there and you have your pump and a check valve here that stops the pressure from going back and when the pressure gets lower here because it's going through and then this gets really low you pump the water back in the open loop um o ocean thermal ones have where you don't have this and you just have the hot water from the ocean pumping into here and they have a big enough column that they can just suck off the the vacuum off the top of it and it just boils off the top and just boiling water comes through here and then they just have cold water and it condenses and that just goes back to the water it's not a closed loop tesla talks about using like wave wave energy to pump the water in and save a bunch of energy that way a couple different things this you utilizing your stream will definitely help your case to make it work really really well um, yeah, I'm going to cut it here though because we're getting to five minutes. Hope that helped.